All right, well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Vintage Electronics Channel. We're not really talking about electronics today, but it's one of those days where I've got a bunch of projects piled up on the bench, and I figured I'd just do something kind of fun, something a little silly, but hopefully it also has a point. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you already know what a Presto hot dogger is. This is an appliance from the 1960s and 70s that cooks hot dogs by electrocuting them. It just sends mains current straight across those prongs. So I figured we'd do a little experiment with this today on different voltages and see what the different cooking times are and talk a little bit about electrical safety. So stay tuned. So I've got my power meter set up, and we're going to try it on regular 120 volt AC first. Looks like right now we're at 122.3 volts. So we'll set this to the watts setting. That way we can uh, keep an eye on how many watts the hot dogs are dissipating. But uh, this video was actually inspired by one of my favorite uh, YouTube creators, Big Clive. If you don't know who that is... Make sure you check out his channel. Just uh, type in Big Clive and Hot Dogger. Uh, he's a Scottish gentleman who lives on the Isle of Man, and he uh, used the Hot Dogger, which is designed for 120 volts on their 240 volt single phase, and it was uh, it was quite interesting. He's a, a very experienced electrician, electronics expert. It was just kind of a fun video, but uh, he didn't have access to American hot dogs in his video. He used uh, American style hot dogs in a can. From England and uh, growing up there myself uh, I can tell you they're not exactly the same American hot dogs are a little bit bigger and in my opinion a little bit nastier uh, but uh, I went and picked up the cheapest nastiest hot dogs I could find which were these armor ones that have wonderful mechanically separated chicken pork corn syrup food starch uh, all sorts of things you can't pronounce so I figured these would work well and for our uh, purposes of our discussion uh, maybe mimic human flesh a little bit too so let's get these opened get one in there and we'll check it out all right we've got our hot dogs open i do want to remind everybody that i do have extensive experience in both electrical and electronics so i know what i'm doing please do not attempt any of the experiments that you see uh, at home i don't want anybody to get hurt so uh, we're going to load just one hot dog in here and we're going to skewer it right on there i remember as a kid i really thought this was the coolest thing ever and the hot dogs that come out of it really aren't that good all right so we'll close that up as you can see there's two pins back here that locate into the back of the machine and that's literally just connected to the cord so let's get that in there make sure you guys can see the display here now the instructions say it should take a minute to a minute and a half uh, so we will plug it in and see how long it takes we think to cook the hot dog on 120 volt AC so we'll plug that in now and see where we go looks like uh, our hot dog is pulling about 50 watts but it's climbing we're up to 60 heading up towards 70 watts not a whole lot happening in there coming up to close to 80 watts we're about 20 seconds or so in. Still steadily climbing though. There's a lot of moisture in those hot dogs. So there's 90 watts. Coming up on 100 watts. We're about a little over 30 seconds in on this one. Not very spectacular. Uh, coming up on about an amp of power being uh, dissipated there. Still climbing though, 130 watts, 135, 140, close to 150. Do we have any heat or anything happening? Doesn't seem like it. Now we're up to a minute, about 160 watts. You can hear a very slight hissing coming from inside the machine. It looks like our power is starting to drop off now. We're dropping off pretty quick, so that means we've 
probably burn clear and there's a little bit of smoke. So let's go ahead and unplug this and see what we've got. There is our electrocuted hot dog goodness. Yeah, that's that's appetizing, isn't it? I don't know what I was thinking when I was a kid, thinking that that was cool. But let's see if it, uh, well, it heated the hot dog all the way through. Taste test. That's a nasty, cheap hot dog. All right, so now for the next part of our experiment. Uh, I am fortunate enough here in the shop, I work on a lot of, of European electronics. So I do have a 220 volt single phase transformer that I use for my European electronics. So what worry about a minute and a half, uh, almost two minutes to cook the hot dog on 120 volt. So let's do the big Clive experiment, piece of hot dog there. And we'll try it on 220 volts, single phase. And we'll start that ticking now. So not a whole lot uh, going on so far. Like we're about 10 seconds in. I can actually already hear sizzling. So it's already much, much quicker. We've got a little bit of steam coming out of the uh, hot dog. It like, looks like it's swelling up a little bit. Oh, and we've got a little bit of arc flash happening. We're going to turn that off. I can actually see it arcing across the hot dog. Whew. So what was that, about uh, 20, 25 seconds maybe? And that thing is hot. And yeah, it looks like it uh, looks like it arced through and burned clear of the, uh, of the electrodes. So yeah, the Big Clive uh, turbocharged uh, hot dogger definitely did the trick. That is scorching hot. Yeah, still tastes like nasty hot dog. Much hotter than it was on the... Uh, 120 volt though, so it cooked it way quicker, what, in a third of the time, and much, much hotter. But we did end up with a little bit of uh, scorching on the prongs there. But, so that was 220 volts. Okay, so we've checked it out, cooking one hot dog on 220 volts single phase and 120 volt single phase. We saw that uh, the 220, surprise, surprise, cooked it quicker. But I know there are going to be people out there that ask... What is the power dissipation of this thing when it's fully loaded? So, my answer to that is, I don't know. I would assume that that would depend on your hot dogs, and how juicy they are, and what they're made of, and their moisture content. But we're going to try it. I would think there'd have to be a threshold at some point that uh, it would pass so much power that it would blow a breaker or a fuse. But it holds five hot dogs. We're plugged back into 120 volt AC. Watts are at zero. So let's plug it in and see what our maximum power dissipation is. So immediately we're going up to 350 watts. And still climbing. Heading all the way up to 400 watts. 430. 450. 480. 500 watts. Still climbing pretty quickly. To 570. Like we're up to 600 watts now. And we're still climbing, heading up to 700 watts. Climbing a little quicker now. This is where I say I never really liked American power cords. It's pretty in insubstantial or unsubstantial for the amount of current this thing looks like it could draw. We're still going. Got a little bit of sizzling going on. A little bit of popping. Uh, now our current is dropping back down, so it looks like we've blown clear on some of the electrodes there. Let's go ahead and pull that open to disconnect it. And let's see here. 
122 volts. Looks like our high wattage was 835. So for those who would ask, there's your maximum wattage on one of these on 120 volts. But that is just the stinkiest, nastiest smell. It's like burnt flesh and hot dogs. And I just don't understand the appeal of this. But when I was a kid, I thought it was awesome. But my point behind this is, I hear people who work with electricity, most of the people that say this are not professionals, say, oh, I don't mind getting shocked, my body's used to it, it doesn't bother me, or people play around with electricity and don't really know its full potential, well, that is what happens at 120 volts. And that thing is steaming hot. So imagine if that was your finger and you were playing around with electricity. Now they say, you know, 120 volts is safer than 240. I, do, I disagree. I think they're all dangerous. You should be careful messing around with it if you don't know what you're doing or have the proper training. Because this thing could be your finger and your body, you're not going to stay alive long enough to get this hot. It does not take long at all. We look at how quickly those hot dogs cooked on two or that hot dog cooked on 240 volts it was within 20 or 30 seconds uh, that hot dog was blown clear screaming hot so electricity could kill you very very quickly stop your heart cause all sorts of problems so you know this was a fun little video just to see the difference between 120 and 240 volts on hot dogs and a presto hot dogger but really, I wanted to just take a minute, use this as a fun example and way of saying, be careful out there. If you're messing around with electronics or electrical things, make sure the power is off. Make sure you're isolated from ground. Use one hand if you can. You don't want that current passing through both. It's really, really important. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would definitely suggest checking out Big Clive's video that he did, uh, Turbocharging the Presto Hot Dogger. It's on his YouTube channel. Just uh, search Big Clive. Uh, turbocharged hot dogger and uh, you'll see his experiment on it but uh, he's actually done other videos on it with uh, all sorts of different uh, foods so it's kind of neat but uh, just wanted to touch on a little bit of electrical safety if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel it really really helps me out and next time we'll be back to some vintage electronics uh, so make sure you stay tuned thanks again for watching we'll see you next time